Chapter 26. Travis found Velveeta in a lunch room, eating a bowl of cereal. You get off at noon on Saturday, right? He asked. Are you busy after that? Why? You want to pull my wagon? No, I want to take you someplace. Where? It's a surprise. We'll be gone for like three hours. My grandpa's going to drive us. Do you want to? That is a vague invitation. Velveeta got up and cleared her place. Are you going to kidnap me and hold me for ransom? No, but I have some words I need help with, and I thought we could do some of that. You're trying to help me by letting me help you. Don't think you're being tricky. I'm not being tricky. I just want to make sure you'll come. Travis, Travis followed, followed Velveeta to her locker. But you have to promise not to yell at me to try. If you do that, I'll leave. Let me get this right. You want me to go to some secret place with you for some completely unexplained reason. And if I tell you to try, you'll walk away and leave me wherever we are? Right, said Travis as she closed her locker. That sounds like a perfect action suspense setup. What time? Anytime after one, because my grandpa works in the morning. 1.15? Okay, good. Wear warm clothes if it's cold because we'll be outside. Is that a date? Megan came up behind them as they entered the classroom. Are Velveeta and Travis going on a date? Pull your nose in, Megan, said Velveeta. It's no date. It's a financial summit with our lawyers and accountants in Vegas. You can't come, so stop begging. <laughs> like I'd want to, said Megan. Yes, exactly, like you'd want to. Megan whispered to Cassidy on the other side of the classroom and they both laughed. You're so mysterious, said Velveeta. Okay, so probably not Vegas, but are we going to a secret hidden cave? Indiana Jonesy? No, tell me where you live so we can pick you up. No, you can pick me up at the library. Miss Gordon closed the door and Travis faced front, happy little birds fluttering around inside his chest. She said yes, this was going to be good. Okay, so you know Friday is the dance, right? Bradley set his lunch down. Quit with the dance, said Travis. No, I know, I know. Not the dance. You're both invited to my house on Sunday for the anti-dance. Two invitations for Velveeta in one day, said Velveeta. What's an anti-dance? It's a party where nobody dances. I wanted it to be on Friday night, but my parents are busy. My dad said you can come Sunday afternoon for a while. Sunday afternoon, that's pretty anti-dance, Velveeta nodded. Are your gamey pails coming? No, they're going to the dance, so they can't anti-dance. It's just you and you and me. Travis, say yes and make her say yes. How am I supposed to do that? Will there be food, asked Velveeta. My mom said she'd make that spinach pie nuts thing for a late lunch. <laughs> Tempting, I'll think about it. Okay, this time that means yes, right? Oh, and Travis, she's going to make that cherry crisp thing that you liked last time you were over. Please, say yes. Don't beg Bradley, said Velveeta, or we'll sick Chilson on you. I'm in, said Travis. Bradley grinned so big, Travis thought the rubber bands on his braces might snap. I knew you would be. Come on, Velveeta, say yes. Okay, Bradley, yes, I will come to the anti-dance. If nothing else, just because you should be rewarded for thinking that party title up. Yay! Bradley gave a little hop in his seat and opened his lunch bag. Two o'clock Sunday, my house. When the bell rang, Travis walked with Velveeta to her locker. He's so Bradley-esque, she said. You can't help liking that. He doesn't really care if we make fun of him, does, does he? said Travis. No, and I think he's adopted us, and the anti-dance is the official ceremony. Velveeta on Wednesday. When I got to the library today, Connie yanked me into the back room and held up a key. She said I needed a place to study and I could use a library when it's closed, but only under three conditions. Then she started jabbing the key in the air, a jab for each rule. Jab number one, I can't tell anyone I have it. And if she ever hears about it from anyone else, she'll take it away from me. She said Pauline already knows and Pauline's the only other one who has a key. So if anyone else ever knows, it's because I told them and the key is gone. Jab number two, I have to lock the door when I'm in here, always. If she ever comes and I'm here and the door isn't locked, key gone. Jab number three, I can't ever bring anyone here with me because of course there would also, that would also be breaking rule number one and anyone here with me, key gone. I told her it's not like I'm going to have crack parties in here. Maybe I just want Travis to come and study sometimes. And she said, no, we can do that during open hours. No Travis, period, the end. Could I live with those rules? And did I want the key? 
I asked her why she was so nice to me. She said, because Calvin was so nice to her. I told her she is twisted. And yes, I understood the rules. And yes, I wanted the key.